Musk grass, Kara. Because of its size and complex structure, musk grass may look like a higher plant, one that would produce flowers and seeds. However, musk grass actually is a genus of alga, more properly, a multicellular macroalga. There are several species of musk grass in Florida. They grow attached to the bottoms of ponds, lakes, slow moving rivers, and ditches. They sometimes form underwater meadows. Musk grass prefers hard, calcium rich waters. Musk grass is named for its strong, garlicky odor. Once identified by smell, musk grass will be remembered forever. This macroalgae has no true leaves, but it does have branches and branchlets. Branchlets occur in whorls at regular intervals along the main branches. No part of muskgrass is more than three cells thick. The branches and branchlets are made of single column-shaped cells that often are surrounded by spine-shaped cells. These spiny cells and the lime deposits that collect on them make the plants relatively rough to the touch. Musk grass branchlets also are the sites for the alga's reproductive sporangia. These dark, ball-like organs appear seed-like along the branchlets. Musk grass is a macroalga. This submersed plant has a distinctive garlicky odor. There are no leaves. Tiny spines and calcium deposits make musk grass rough to the touch. Thank you.